Dar Michael here, so I'm going to teach you how to play Heart of Gold by Neil Young. Pretty basic chords in the song you'll need. The fanciest one will be E minor 7. Now I like to use my little finger there, but a lot of people do it that way. That's cool, a bit stretchy for me, but you can do it that way if you want. If that's too tricky, a normal E minor will be fine. And you also need that anyway in the song. You also need C's. However you do your G's and D's. And that's it for the chords. So we'll go through the intro here, which maybe has the fanciest bit for you to tackle on guitar. So I'll do it slow here. So the pulse of the strumming in this song is quite basic in a way, but it's pretty fast. It's So it's essentially down, 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 up, but twice in the bar, because this is 16th note strumming. Um, I have a 16th note strumming lesson on the channel. You can look that up if you don't know what that is. If that's too much for you for now, don't worry about it. The pulse of the rhythm is. And that'll get you through the song. Again, I always say this stuff, if you want to learn it, really like the song, you've got to use your ears and listen to it, get some slowing down software. And you know, you can do that, but this will get you through the song. So hold down your E minor seven. And apply that strumming pattern, essentially down, 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 up twice. Then you're going to go to D, give it three downs like this. Then go for an E minor. So let's recap that stuff. E minor 7. D. E minor. And then there's a cool little riff to do. You're going to pick the open A, hammer to 2. Then pick open D and pick 2 on that string. And I just use the fingers that I would do for the, forming the E minor 7 chord or the E minor. Although I know a lot of people do it that way. If that works better for you, that's cool as well. So to recap. Cool. Really satisfying to play. Sounds just like the song. Now that's really the fiddliest bits that we have to take care of on the rhythm guitar, okay? So practice that a lot first. So the other parts you'll need in the song are the harmonica, instrumental, the verses and the chorus, and then an outro. Okay, so let me go through the harmonica instrumental here. Now the pulse of the rhythm here is down, 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 down. All right, it, it's pretty easy actually once you do it. It is 16th note strumming, so we would be counting one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a. Okay, so. You're essentially cutting the bar in half, you've got E minor, the C, then D to G. You keep that going and then you'll see at the end you just tag on the intro to end off that harmonica instrumental section. The verses are straightforward enough hopefully. It's E minor again, to C. D to G. Do that three times. Then we 
we go into a chorus, which is slightly different. You're kind of doubling the amount of time you spend on chords now. So a full bar of E minor, just E minor, not E minor 7. To whatever kind of G you like. To C. And maybe the trickiest part of the song I find when I'm teaching people this is just that kind of awkward rhythm bit at the end. So let me play that again and then I'll break it down. So the E minor, G and C bit should be okay for you there. Then the last bar in that chorus section, you do three downs on the C. A quick change to G. And this rhythm should remind you of the riff at the start, by the way. And after you've landed on the G, We've got to leave a wee gap, keep the arm trying to be loose and ready. And then do up, down, 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 up. So initial down in the G, and then up, down, 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 up. Let me just bump that a wee minute for you. That's all the parts covered essentially. Let me just go through the outro for you here. So you'll notice the start of the outro there has something very similar to the intro. I didn't put E minor 7 there, I suppose you could do it. Just play an old E minor. Then the three downs in the D. Then quick to the E minor. And hopefully you'll notice this is the same rhythm as the end of the chorus. Down, up, down, down, down. So keep the arm loose and moving there. Then to finish, full bar of E minor. Full bar of G, full bar of C, so the end and part is just three downs in the C, and go quickly to G, and hopefully you'll see very similar rhythms for those parts, for that part as the other parts before. Okay, so that's how to play the song. Good luck with that. If you find the video helpful, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Cheers.